Good afternoon. Welcome to the After Hours on Facebook. A 15-minute chart spiked down to 149. This green bar now is coming up off of these lows. There was the initial reaction. And basically right now we're at 152.20. 151 going into the earnings print. That was the last price. So there's going to be a lot of controversy on this Facebook trade and how to trade Facebook. Um, either short or going long and what the option is going to look like tomorrow. I'm going to find out some more data, but you need to see here on the 15 minute chart, you can see that knee jerk reaction. And it's all about how to trade in the after hours and how to trade the reports that are released along with the volatility. We hit 149.05. From 149.05 here up at the bottom, we have come back up now, as you can see, to 152.61. I'm going to find out a little bit more data on it. I'll be right back, all of our traders, and we'll go over the fundamentals. The most important thing is how to buy that bottom down there when it hit that 149 and some change for a fast trade on the shares. And we have lots of people that are doing that and lots of people that will get paid on this. And, you know, it's all about the mechanics and the after hours and how these releases are released. I'll be back momentarily. One of the highlights on Facebook is the Q1 gap EPS $1.04. May not be or may not compare to the um, $0.86 cent gap estimate. Revs at $8.03 billion versus $7.83 billion capital IQ consensus. Now, the revs are fine, and you can see how we're trading it in after hours. And, you know, look at Facebook does this every time they release their earnings. They will go down, and then they'll pop right back up. So, basically, we hit that 10, uh, 149 level, and, you know, they were a dollar four on the prelim versus 86 cents. 7.86 billion versus the seven. 0.38 billion capital IQ consensus. Let's see if there's any more and we will break it all down and we will launch everything about the Facebook trade has done this ever since Facebook has traded. You get these big spikes on the, on, on the reaction, then they start looking at the revenues and then the following day what ends up happening is it will sell down, but nonetheless, it'll be a good trade to go long, as you can see here at 149. We're making money, and we already sold it um, while we were on break to bring those uh, uh, earnings out to everybody. Basically, we're going to be buying the dips and selling the rips, and this is once again the uh, year. 2017 May actually on the 3rd and this is the reaction and as we decipher through it we will trade it again in the morning and then we'll do the option trades as well just to let you know.